This is a case of a lower molar who developed uh, irreversible pulpitis due to external cervical resorption in the distal area. We need to perform a root canal treatment procedure by leaving a bridge of dentin in the occlusal area of the tooth, which we call a truss access preparation. Very often, people have questioned if irrigants can pass in the pulp chamber in such cases where the excess cavity is made without removing of the roof of the pulp chamber. This is a video I made at the end of the treatment trying to demonstrate how the irrigant is passing from the distal aspect of the excess cavity into the mesial one even if we did not remove the whole dentin structure and enamel structure above the roof of the pulp chamber. You can very clearly see how the irrigant passes by from the distal to the mesial and when I aspirate you can see it sucked away in the distal area. This is to let you see how the passing of the irrigant can happen in the truss access irrigation.